What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the show, I am your host, Rasheed White. And if you're new to the show, uh, definitely smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and certainly share this video. All right, let's get right into it over here. Colin Cowherd, oh Lord, here we go again with this dude over here, man. Uh, now he's trash talking James Harden, actually pretty much saying that his career is pretty much over, and the uh, the NBA officiating has actually caught up to James Harden, which is really further from the truth, man. And I, I said, listen, man, you guys got to listen to real ball players, man. Colin Cowherd, he's obviously he's never actually played basketball before. Judging on his, you know, his, his his statements that he actually makes over here. Let's get into this video. Now with a rule, and they just said, James, you're manipulating the league. We're not going to do this. And so he's shooting 39% this year. Last year he shot 47%, and the NBA is not giving him all those free throws. And so between Kyrie's weirdness and instability and James Harden's sudden dilemma, what instability from Kyrie Irving, man? He's ready to play. And nowhere in his contract and the collective bargaining agreement says that he has to take a vaccine to play. Uh, that's all politics right there. This Kevin Durant decision looks bad. And by the way, Harden is older than you think. He's 32. He now has a game that's not approved by the league, and he's coming off an injury. Meanwhile, the Warriors look fantastic. And I said this before. So you're leaving a great coach, Steve Kerr, to a rookie coach, Steve Nash, you're leaving a great organization, the Warriors, to an organization that's never really been consistently good. Uh, the Golden State Warriors was never really good before. <clears throat> well, they did win a championship before Kevin Durant got there, but there was a lot of luck in a sense, though. I mean, every team that <clears throat> Golden State went up against in the playoffs the key players actually got hurt and then when they actually did meet lebron in the finals kevin love and kyrie Irving went down you're leaving you know i mean silicon valley <laughs> steph curry steve kerr clay thompson draymond green for kyrie well you look at it this morning harden's game is not the same the NBA has simply said, we're changing the rules. So instead of having a great coach, he got Steve Nash, who's unproven. Instead of having a great defense. He's coming off of a hamstring injury, a lower extremity injury. He has not really played. You can obviously see that. He's really, really big. He has to play himself into shape. And this also... A psychological component into there if he's out of shape he doesn't actually want to tear that hamstring or re-aggravate the injury and you know and you're trying to say the rule changes are actually affecting james harden's game i mean forget the fact that he's an excellent ball handler the fact that he is big he is strong he is physical he can get to the line i mean we've seen him do it all these years and he can shoot the lights out and he's an excellent catch and shoot player <laughs> I mean, what, what, what are you talking about, man? It's number one in the league this morning. You have one of the worst defenses. You have no rim protector. Instead of having reliable Steph, an emerging Jordan pool, you have unreliable Kyrie. And oh, oh, you mean the reliable Steph that couldn't even get his uh, his team into the playing tournament, right? That, that Steph Curry, who was actually leading the Lakers... <laughs> and then in like the last four minutes, Steph Curry shot selection. He was turning the ball over. I, and you mean, oh, you that's Steph Curry. Oh, okay, okay. All right. And he's a better player than uh, Kyrie. He's a better player than James Harden. Nope. Eroding James Harden. I've said this about LeBron. One of LeBron's greatest qualities. He makes good choices. D Wade, Bob. Makes good choices. <laughs> so you think it was actually a good choice to come to the Lakers? <laughs> Have you seen the roster? Osh. 
Anthony Davis, huge brand Lakers. I mean, this thing, James Harden's game now, he does not get to the free throw line. I mean, the NBA just said, and it's not like Harden's 23, he's 32 coming off an injury. And the NBA basically said, your game, you got to change it. Now, maybe he can, but he's shooting 39% and not getting to the free throw line. And last year he was shooting 47% and lived at the free throw line. That is, that is a big ask for a 32-year-old, not right now, in great shape. All right, so last year is the same thing. James Harden came into Brooklyn. He was out of shape, and it was the same thing. He was turning the ball over. He's getting a feel. Um, he has to get everybody else involved. I mean, you're going to need Joe Harris to get his confidence. I mean, obviously, in the playoffs last year, there was a confidence thing going on with Joe Harris. So you definitely want to get him more involved, get him a lot of touches, and make sure he actually has a really, really good, you know, get the confidence, get a good feel for the game. Make him, you know, it, it's, it's actually a good thing with the Kyrie Irving situation, man. Everybody's looking at it from a bad thing, but it's actually a really good thing. Jay, playing with a lot of intensity. He's like a different player. If you watch Harden, he's a different player. You had Steph, you had Clay, you had Kerr, you had Draymond. You had an organization that drafted very, very well. I mean, they drafted Steph Curry was not a number one pick. Clay Thompson was not a number one pick. Draymond Green was a second round pick. You're going to get Hall of Fame votes. Jordan Poole. So are we going to forget about what Sean Marks actually did? I mean, he, <laughs> but yeah, you guys remember that Brooklyn squandered before Sean Marks actually got there. They squandered all of their, you know, their first round picks. Everybody thought that Brooklyn was actually done. Done. Sean Marks actually comes in and, you know, just like in three years, I think maybe two and a half to three years, the way they actually drafted players. If you look at Karis LeVert, <laughs> you got him at, he got him at 18. If you redo the draft, he's like number a number seven pick. Jared Allen, they got him at 19. Redo the draft again. He could be a number seven to six or seven pick. So the uh, Sean Marks actually drafted well. What are you talking about? Yo, you know, he has a lot of biases, a lot of biases with. Uh, and no, this is a better team. <laughs> James Harden is better than Steph Curry. Sorry, <laughs> James Harden is better than Klay Thompson. Kyrie Irving is better than Steph Curry. Better defender gets downhill. Takes contact, you know, gets to the free throw line, takes contact. Better under pressure, under duress. Better ball handler. Doesn't doesn't choke in the fourth quarter. Like I've seen Steph do a lot of times. The guy they drafted when you left, he would now be a teammate. If KD stays, he's got Steph, Clay, emerging Jordan Poole. Draymond Green, Clay Thompson coming back, and a great front office and a great coach. Now, yeah, he is. <laughs> so you you do realize, Cowherd, that if they didn't have injuries last year, I, I don't know why. You love to say how the the Golden State Warriors is the best team ever assembled, and when you look at this roster. <laughs> of James Harden and Steph Curry. I'm, I'm sorry, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant. <laughs> I mean, that's a better team than the Golden State Warriors. And they would have won the championship last year had Kyrie did not get hurt and James Harden didn't get hurt. I mean, and they said they don't play no defense. The first two games of, of the Milwaukee Bucks playoff series was unwatchable. It were two blowouts. The third game, they hold them to 86 points. Even though they lost that game 86-83, they still held them to 86 points. You do realize that these teams, if they were healthy, they went in the championship. You are what your choices are. That's what you become, what your choices are. And for the record... Katie is absolutely a brilliant basketball player. I've said before, if there was a one-on-one -on -one tournament history of the league, I think KD would beat Jordan. I think he's absolutely offensively 
without peer. In a I definitely agree. I mean, he's probably <laughs> the best offensive player that I've ever seen in my life, man. I mean, just blows Jordan away. Um, <laughs> I mean, he just there's no weaknesses to his game, man. I mean, he especially like even on the defense end, he can guard one through five, play one through five. Uh, a better shooter, better ball handler, um, uh, probably a better finisher because of his height. You know, that's not a really fair comparison. But we're going to wrap this video up. Listen, there's nothing wrong with Kevin Durant wanting to come to Brooklyn. Part of actually being happy in life is actually having new challenges, you know, and there's nothing wrong with, with that. And that's really, truly, truly how you actually have real true bliss in life, though. You know, he wants a new challenge, new city. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, Kate, Kevin Durant, you know, support you. Stop listening. And, and people out there, stop listening to Cowherd. Stop listening to him. He's obviously he's never played basketball before. It's it's oh, man. It's like the third video I did on him, and he just really kind of makes a complete arse out of himself, man. Every single time. All right. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.